A very uh, good morning and a good evening to those of you listening. We are continuing with Budget Week here at US ISPF. I am thrilled and delighted to be joined by Mr. Mahesh Jai Singh. He leads our indirect tax initiatives at the US India Tax Forum and, of course, is a national indirect tax leader at Deloitte India. So, a very good evening to you, Mahesh. Thank you so much for joining me here on Budget Week. A very good evening to you as well, Akshab, and thanks for having me over. Pleasure. Um, so I think just getting into the, the big date we're all looking at, February 1st, um, the corporates are obviously have their that date marked in the calendar and they're looking at big ticket reforms, but break it down. What are some of the indirect tax perspectives that corporates would really be eyeing from this budget? Well, the budget is going to be indeed an interesting exercise. But as far as the indirect tax is concerned, as against until 2017, where the indirect taxes was customs, excise, service tax, and other central taxes. Now, from an indirect tax perspective, it's primarily the customs law where we will see significant announcements and areas that industry will be looking for from a budget perspective. Right, absolutely. And I think um, some of the big initiatives that the government has been really talking about has been you know, to make India this manufacturing destination and promote the Make in India initiatives uh, and fund through uh, the recently expanded uh, PLI schemes. Um, do you think that this budget should account, account for manufacturing given the fact we've seen such supply chain disruption in the COVID era? I think the budget will certainly do a further push on the Make in India. Uh, it's been the government's uh, pet project, if I were to say, for the last many years to be pushing manufacture. But the good news from an industry perspective, it's, that it's not only the budget that announces the Make in India initiatives. In the last two years during the unfortunate pandemic, we've actually seen a very powerful scheme known as the PLI scheme, where for targeted sectors, the government has provided incentive for investment support and therefore having a specific impetus to be able to encourage these sectors to be having further manufacture in India. Now, what that does is that not only does that support come in, but in the budget, we've seen the government reviewing the customs duty rate on those products that are under the PLI scheme. And to me, I'll keep a lookout in this budget for the Make in India front, whether there may be rate changes on the customs law to be able to further push manufacture of these select sectors, one. Two, I do think, uh, the ease of doing business from a customs law is also something that's linked to the larger scheme of things in the budget. Uh, this will cut across not only manufacturers, but others as well. But I do think there will be further reforms and changes that are likely to be brought out. And the third point on the customs, and that's the end of my customs point, is that the government uh, was reviewing about 400 customs exemptions. They did make it very transparent last year that uh, they will be reviewing these exemptions. And I do expect an announcement in this budget on the outcome of that exercise and some decisions may be taken as to which exemptions are done away with. One of the other items that's marked very closely uh, in your calendar, you're looking at very particularly is GST. Uh, there's been a lot of talk on GST. Uh, what are some of the GST reforms that you're looking at that this budget will touch on, not just for 2022, but that will set the precedence for the coming years? Well, the good thing about GST is it's marked in the diary pretty much 12 months uh, because actually the GST is an ongoing uh, law and an ongoing reform. Uh, the budget and the central government is one of the most important stakeholders, but the beauty of GST is that it's governed by the GST Council where the center and state meet periodically. There's a law committee, there are GICs, and therefore policy decisions are not necessarily back-ended and deferred to the budget. Nevertheless, uh, the budget is a very important date and an event where the Honorable Finance Minister is expected to make some announcements on the uh, level of collections that we've had. Uh, let's not forget we've had the highest level of GST collections uh, just a couple of months ago. I think this is in the backdrop of far more tax compliance and how the government has also uh, made industry embrace, embrace tax technology. So enhanced compliance analytics tools, I do expect a mention on that. One. Two, I do hope to see a little bit forward thinking uh, announcements on reforms on GST, whether it is on unlocking of working capital credit, whether it is breaking the chain of a credit that is there right now being done away with, 
as well as, you know, encouraging MSMEs or say on the e-commerce platform where they are unable to go online and make sales. So to me, these three areas, I honestly don't expect great level of announcement there because this is not the forum, but any mention by the finance minister setting the context for the year for 2022 will indeed be welcome, Akshar. Yeah, and absolutely. And I think perhaps using the, the brevity of the last few seconds that we have, overarchingly, if you just sum up what you're looking for in the budget in a single line, what would that line look like? I think, uh, you know, no news is good news from something being very fundamental. So if it's largely stable and the continued focus on make in India, ease of doing business and digital India, if we see these three areas of focus, I think we're home. Well, absolutely. We'll look forward to that on February 1st, Mahesh. And of course, we'll be looking to have you back to get the post-budget analysis and, you know, do a pre and post comparison in some ways and, you know, get your post-mortem on that. So thank you so much. Absolutely. for Absolutely. Looking Already forward to it. that. Thank you for having Pleasure. me over. Thank you, everyone. Look forward to the first budget. And thank you so much, Mahesh. This has been another episode. Look forward to chatting with you soon.